Hello guys, welcome to Lovely Twin 22, Vanessa here speaking and today we have another pick a card reading and this is the weekly what's going on with them commencing April 8th up to April 14, 2019 and each spouse was arranged by Archangel Michael and Archangel Raguel and it's gonna be an intense week because those who arranged the pals here are the fighter angels okay um the angels told me yes it's gonna be an intense week so honestly speaking the angels say uh, masculine and feminines have been through a lot within this week um you gonna sense your counterpart not doing well when it comes to career even not only with love life and it's affecting your connection together and as the angels say that you have to relax a bit when it comes to your person because your person have been through a lot of things some of them have been through their heartache and they wanna communicate with you they wanna share to you their insights their um I'm sensing like they want to cry because right now really honestly speaking I really want to cry right now okay like I'm just doing the intro but I'm sensing the energies of those people who have encountered a terrible heartache and anyways guys um if your person encountered that kind of problem please be there for them instead of cutting them out of your life they love you okay that's why they approach you that's why um they want to communicate they want to express their love this time to you if they break your heart if there's a third party situation involved in the past forgive them okay you know um this time around if you really love your person please okay love them you're not in this reading if you don't care for your person right okay that's why i question sometimes why is my viewer sometimes angry or mad at their person you know because honestly when i'm shuffling the cards here i'm sensing my right hand hurts it means that on your side my viewers are mad at your person okay it's not right forgive your person if you love your person forgive them and admit that you two are sinners okay nobody here is perfect in this world we we make mistakes okay who are we not to forgive so is there anything else they said no more so angels say that if it's really an intense heartache in your part take time to heal it okay go to the forest go to the woods go to the park anything where there is nature let your feet feel the ground be grounded guys cry it all out there okay if you're not comfortable with um if you want to play with the church in the church or in your room but it's better if it's in nature okay so that um you have it's gonna make you at peace okay it's a very different atmosphere if you're um in nature rather than in your room because sometimes you know we have negativities in our room especially if it's messy or um there's a lot of stuff in your room right so the best way guys is to go to nature and contemplate cry it all out pray to god um that you have been hurt you want to forgive your person and have that healing in your heart okay because if you don't have um that healing if you have that grudge about your person what will happen is that you create a blockage for you to receive your person back into your life that is a problem and the angels say that relax a bit for this week if your masculine is coming or even feminine only rare for feminine to come forward because honestly speaking most feminines are waiting for their masculine to come so if you're the masculine um whom is watching this video make sure that your feminine is doing well um it's all right for her to for you to come because some of them are mad at about what's happened between you guys okay so is there anything else 
They told me that you have to relax. That's they keep on saying it, okay? Relax. That's what they say. That's the only thing that you need to do for this week when it comes to love life, the angels say. So, is there anything else? They said no more. So, we have four piles here. Pal 1 is the Knight of Pentacles. Pal 2 is the Ace of Swords. Pal 3 is the Star card. Pal 4 is the High Priestess card. And the angels say that you have um, to communicate with the angels in choosing the piles, okay? Because the angels say it's an intense read, okay? Don't base it on your ego. Because if you base it on your ego and you're not on the right pile, you might think negatively of your person. Because let me remind you, each pals are intense, the angels say. That's why um, these pals are arranged by two archangels that is based about um as a war on um, fighting evil okay so if they are the ones who arrange the piles it's gonna be an intense week okay whenever they're the one honestly speaking um i'm thinking like oh dear something bad might happen or um it's gonna be another intense week in terms of love life and so on <laughs> okay and anyway keep your cool guys if you're mad at your person remember to say um i am the loving energy of god say it many times okay with all your heart and your um sadness your low vibrational energy will shift okay because you're reminded that you're a loving energy of god and there's no hate in that our god is loving and we're created because of love right so anyways is there anything else and we came from heaven which is love okay what's up there is always about love okay you feel love up out there and you feel the sense that you're longing for love right if you are single you always feel it it is because we came from heaven where there is love and there's no hate out there okay that's why so please be in a loving energy that's the only solution that i can see here if your person will come forward to you okay if you're a masculine coming to your feminine make sure your feminine is um on a calm energy okay if not yet pray and pray for the healing of your heart and as well as your feminine's heart okay so is there anything else angels they say no more so okay i'll show to you the cards that i'll be using for this reading okay so for the tarot cards that i'll be using for this reading i'll use the akashic tarot deck and it will be clarified by the classic tarot for the choices that we have here we pulled cards from the everyday tarot deck and then for the overall theme, we pulled cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. And then for the messages of your person, we pulled cards from my personal deck. And then it will be clarified by the Illuminated Tarot deck. For the advice and as well as for the energy check of your person, we'll pull cards from the Romance Angels Oracle deck. For the advice that we have here, okay, we use a lot of cards. By the way, please bear with me. It's gonna be an intense read. We pulled cards from the Angel Answers Oracle deck, the Universe Has Your Back, and also Archangel Power Tarot cards. So, guys, kindly post the video if you're not yet ready. I'll proceed now with pile number one. Hello guys, for those who chose pile number one, which is the Knight of Pentacles, here is your reading. So let's see what's going on with your person, pal number one. So here is your overall theme for this reading. You have breathe. Reverse her upright. Okay, yes, they say. 
So, let's follow my guides. They are my angels. Um, angels and archangels. So, let's do an energy check with regards to your person. So, angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we'll be able to know how does the person of pile number one um, feel about those who chose pile number one and how does they feel for them? One more shuffle, they request. So let's see. How does they see this connection? Trust, reverse, and then past life, upright or reverse, they say. I'm sensing this card, but it doesn't want to pop out. <laughs> so you have love yourself first. That is both reverse or upright position, they told me. And one more card that they request. You have deception. Upright position, they say, and then engagement. Upright or reverse for that, they told me. Unrequited love, that is reversed, the angels say. Another card they requested. You have reconciliation. Both upright or reverse, they tell. I'm sensing like their energy is kind of sad, okay? But let's see what's going on for this week for them so angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that we'll be able to know what's going on with the person of pile number one whoops commencing april 8 up to april 14 2019 gonna be an intense week for them the angels say so if your person is not coming forward it means that they have been through a lot and you have to be understanding for your person i know that um divine timing is really um really doesn't good look with our ears right doesn't it's not positive or negative but then the angels say it's for the best okay you will realize why but let's see you have commitment is a reverse or upright for this according to them you have archangel Ma gabriel i'm sorry that's unknown you have the Queen of Roses and also the Five of Scrolls in reverse. So overall energy that's affecting the reading is the King of Forces. Most upright or reverse according to them. What is the outcome? So you have the Clearing the Way. Upright or reverse, they tell. Another card. The request for an outcome, the Karmic Trench. Reverse. Upright position, they tell. And also, Divine Physician. Both upright or reverse for that. Don't worry, I'll show to you the cards later on. Um, should I need to pull more for an outcome? They said no need. So, let's clarify the cards presented here. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards. So that you'll be able to know what's behind the cards presented here please help us clarify so we'll be able to understand thank you i'm sensing on your side you're mad at this person could be because of the long wait that you're encountering with this person okay because um my right hand hurts okay if it hurts while i'm shuffling then it means that on your part you're mad okay you're angry at your person just think what resonates guys if you're not mad then leave it be probably some viewers are mad at their person okay but let's see one of roses so you got the six of swords and then this one is the emperor eight of scrolls the lovers reverse queen of roses you got the knight of wands reverse um, Queen of Pentacles for it. Mm -hmm. 
So, four of these, they give a lot of cards. Four of scrolls. Um, number six, Divine Physician. One more, they request for it. So, let's see. So, this is the overall energy that's affecting the whole reading. And this is the King of Forces, Reverse or Upright. Now, what I have here, guys, is that your person is dealing with their karmics. That's what I'm sensing. Either addictions, friends, job that is toxic. And this person is coming to their senses that they have to cut off um, ties for those toxic people that I'm sensing like they gave a lot before with these people involved that are karmics or they waste their money with their addictions. Anything that is negative is a karmic, okay? That's holding you, ba you back from coming to union together or holding them back. I'm sorry. So, I'm sensing like if before they keep it, now that they're realizing that they have to let go of it, that's their energy, letting go of karmics, okay? And I'm sensing like if it's a relationship that they have with their karmic partner, it's going to an end, okay? Um, if before they're committed and now they are not, they're realizing that they really need to move on from this karmic. And some of them are undergoing for a process of um, divorce. That's what I'm sensing here. If they're not yet moving forward, then it means that it's just starting. Because as you can see with the energy here, I'm sensing like it's just starting, okay? Since this is still upright or reverse, they just undergo a contemplation to stop this giving for the karmics, okay? Anything that is negative. So, Archangel Gabriel, once that they release it or their partner, they, they will communicate to you about this. But first, they're gonna observe you if you're gonna accept them, if you're angry or upset of them. But either way, the angels say, when they end this cycle with their karmic, okay, they will communicate when they stand in their power. And I'm sensing like this person is kind of upset with his or her life, as you can see here. It's nothing to do with you, okay? And I'm sensing here as more on action. Because they come to realization that their karmics are causing them pain and suffering. That's why they became like this, okay? They became upset. They are putting an end to that. Okay, to those people who doesn't deserve them so that they can stand in their power as either emperor or empress. So, the next card is um, Eight of Scrolls. So, what I have here is that um, if they're dealing with a karmic partner or anything to do with connections like work, okay, career related could be. Anything that has a contract, the angels say, um, they let that go and now they're choosing the path where they should be. I'm sensing like this is more on either career-based, career okay? Not actually lovers. Only for lovers, they, they know already what to do, but for career, they don't know yet, okay? They're still applying for a job. That's what I'm sensing. Because if they're not sure at you that you're their next lover, you will have this card, okay? But it's kind of rare, the angels say, about 2% only for the viewers, okay? That they're not sure that if it's you whom they should be with after releasing their karmic partner. So the Queen of Roses here. I'm sensing like... Their karmic still love them, okay? I'm sensing this as more on the energy of their karmic. Either um, their karmic is a guy or a girl. But I'm sensing like this person still in love with um, the person that you're dealing with. But this person that they have in mind, they, they're not really interested with their karmics, okay? 
they let go already there's no passion anymore that's what i'm sensing here it's only the karmic who wants them back and then diversity so i'm sensing like this is more on your part okay you're a person who's stable in your life even if you're single waiting for this person and you seem like not waiting anymore for your person that's what i'm sensing like you let go of this wanting waiting has plans to be with this guy or girl you let that go because you're focused on your career on your life i wonder why you are in this reading but that is how special you are with this person that's what i'm sensing and they acknowledge that you're waited for a long time that's why some of the viewers are upset of your person because honestly while i'm shuffling my right hand hurts and it means that some of them, my viewers are angry with their person and you're stable okay you're doing great with your career so congratulations for my lovely viewers okay and then we have three outcomes so the first outcome is clearing the way okay so this person that you're dealing with if they have a karmic they say um they're letting the karmic go okay so that they can go forward towards you because before they're not doing it okay they thought that um their karmic is a love of their life now let's see what happened okay this is the past energy and i'm sensing like on their part they're they're mad angry with this karmic that they have okay because my left hand suddenly hurts if it's my left hand that hurts it means that on their part they're mad at their person okay so it's nothing to do with you so five of pentacles like i'm sensing like some of them their karmic use them for money purpose which leave them to be poor that's what i'm sensing and they always fight about money if not about money um some of them was ghosted by their karmic it's only um for those who's dealing with somebody who's a third party situation before all right they had a lot of fights and now your person is like the king of swords now like he or she put an end to this karmic cycle because this person wants to be successful in life okay and they're not blind anymore they're acknowledging the truth because um the page of swords in this card um, the page of swords here is, um, has his eyes closed, okay? If before, he was like that, like, it's okay for him or her that fights are going on in the relationship. Now, this person doesn't want it anymore. And cut the cords with this karmic partner that they have so that they can come to you. So, the next card is the Karmic Trench. So, if it's about career base, as you can see, some of them um, switch their career. They are working hard on their finances, rebuilding their life back. And the angels told me that they have been, what do you call this? They have been guided to the right job that they should be in. And this is great. Okay for them it's a great new beginning for them the angels say okay even though they have been very busy but understand your person that they need to build up their life okay if they're not communicating they're just busy working okay so but they will come forward the angels say once that they are ready to communicate again to treat you on a date or whatsoever they will but if you're dealing with a feminine um uh, make sure that um you're open to communication okay and just a simple hello hi how are you it's okay your feminine will be happy okay if you're masculine watching 
So, the next card is Divine Physician. So, what I have here, okay? I'm sensing like this is more on both career-based or if they have been through negativity like addictions or whatsoever. Before, they are like this, okay? They are stuck with their karmic and they are not stable with their life, okay? And... For those who's um, dealing with somebody with a third party, they realize that they don't really love this person and there's no point why they should stay. And they finally realize um, their worth. The justice is here. Like, um, they deserve someone better or de they deserve a better job. Could be... Or they deserve somebody who understands them if they're not with the right friends. And they realize it. They realize their worth. And now they're starting a new beginning, a new journey of their life. And they are now healing. Before they ignore this, okay? They ignore the truth that where they are is not the right thing for them. And now they are acknowledging it. They are healing. Which is good for your person, okay? Pal number one. So, let's see about their energy with regards to this relationship when it comes to you. Or could be with their karmic. Anyways. So, reconciliation. So, if they have been through a lot, like there's a third party situation involved here, the angels say if before they're not coming forward and now they're thinking about it, it will only happen, guys, if they finally release the karmics that they have even addictions could be anything that is negative okay they will come towards you but if you're dealing with the feminine the angels say they are expecting you to come to them now that they are prepared the angels say and then they also see the potential in this connection because unrequited love is in reverse like they finally see this connection after um, the turmoil that had happened in their life and they want to apologize some of them especially if they have chosen a different person from you because the angels say they f realize their worth when they are with their karmic okay and if they really have a karmic partner, they want to apologize for their deception that they did to you in the past. This is more unlikely the past energy. They want to reconcile about this one. That they trick you and now they realize your worth. If before the engagement is not ongoing, they are really wanting this, okay? If you're dealing with a feminine, they're waiting for this, okay? They have been through a lot of things lately, and they want to... They want you to approach the masculines, okay? But if you're dealing with the masculine, they're looking forward for this. If only you forgive them, the angels told me. Mm, and then love yourself first. I'm sensing like it's been a long wait for you guys because some of you already lose your hope with your um, person. As you can see with diversity, you're not waiting anymore for them. So they realize it that they need to love themselves first um, because I'm sensing like they have been into abusive relationship. If they need time for healing, please understand them. They need first healing. They also need first to love themselves first before coming towards you. And if they're not coming forward yet, then it means that they are busy loving themselves, okay? But please understand them. You know, the process, if you have been through a heartache, even losing a job, you know, you need to relax, right? So let your person do that. Because sometimes we realize that um, we only see what we need. Okay, we don't analyze what the, our person needs. So if you really love your person, analyze what they need. And also forgive them. Because on our part, we are sinners as well, okay? We don't really have... What we call this? We don't really have a right not to forgive, guys. Remember that. Okay? So, 
This is either upright or reverse. They are thinking if they should come forward or they should love themselves first. That's what I'm sensing with this card. And if you guys are in a past life relationship or this is your ex, they're coming back to you. Okay, they, and they love you. And some of them think that you let them go already. Okay, you don't have that passion, desire. Because um, if you could relate with this one, that you stand in your power and you're not waiting anymore, they see you as like this, okay? Like you don't trust anymore about your connection. So if you're like this, or if they think likely like, you don't wait for them anymore. You're not interested. Um, but um, you feel like you really want this person. Then post a sign or message them. Even a simple, hi, hello, are you alright? So that they may know if you're interested with them or not. Because I'm sure, that, guys, that you love this person. You're not in this reading if you're not interested, right? Okay. So you have breathe. So this is your person's energy, all right? They're taking their time to breathe after all that had happened within this week, okay? And after that, they will come to you because this is more on the blue is a throat chakra, right? So after this, the, the breathe process, after they contemplate, after they heal, they will communicate back to you. If you're dealing with a feminine, they are ready to communicate once that they are fully healed, alright? So, you have this card which is the Knight of Pentacles. I'm sensing like after these things that had happened to them, they're finally um, waiting for you. For if you're dealing with a feminine, they're waiting for you to come, okay? They finally see your worth. And if you're dealing with a masculine, they are viewing you now from afar, okay? They think that um, you guys should have a second chance together now that they are... They release other ex or they release anything that is negative in their life. They're planning to come forward. Okay, so the angels say for them planning to come forward probably by next week. Because some of them are still in the process of healing. Some of them are still in the process of releasing their karmics, okay? Um, just make sure you give them time and space, alright? Don't force your person to come forward right away, especially if they are not yet prepared or ready. So, it's gonna take time, especially for a heart to heal. The angels say, you must realize it. Don't push too much on your person. So, let's see about their messages for you, pal number one. So, the first card is, my love is just for you, broken hearted, hear my loneliness, and then your name resound in my head. Wow, beautiful cards, but let's clarify, okay? Only these two, the angels told me, so let's clarify those cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you'll be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand their messages for pile number one. Broken hearted and then here my loneliness. So let's see, broken hearted. If they have been through with a karmic relationship, they're still healing their heart, okay? There's a lot of drama involved here. And they are longing for their counterpart. They're longing for you. And they're broken hearted because they give a lot to this person. And they didn't acknowledge the love that you give. And they feel guilty about it. That is another thing that they are purging. That's why they are broken hearted. They choose someone that is not really meant for them. 
And then the next card is here, my loneliness. So I'm sensing like this person, if it's about work, car um, career, business, or anything that is negative, okay? They took a leap of faith because they're not satisfied with, um, with their karmics, like work addictions. They want to be happy again. On the process, guys, this person became upset unhappy because they waste a lot of energy with these filled cups okay that's not worth it so let your person take time to heal you know when holding these cards my left hand hurts they are um, angry of what they did in the past they're angry that they give their energy time and effort to these karmics that they have and they realize that they need to see their words. They need to love themselves. They want to be happy again in their life, okay? Because right now, they are contemplating on the things that didn't go well, wrong choices in life, and whatsoever. So, let them breathe, okay? Let them take time to heal, so, if you're dealing with a feminine, the angels say, communicate with your person, like ask if she's alright, are you okay, I'm worried about you, I'm just here for you, okay, that, that's what you can do for the feminine, okay, but if you're dealing with a masculine, let them heal, alright? So, let's see about their advice for you, pal number one. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you'll be able to know what are your advice for those who chose pile number one. One more shuffle, they request. You have healing family issues. Rivers. So, I'm sensing like you already healed from this connection, like you let go of this connection with him or her already. You heal it, okay? And I'm sensing like you're ready now to flirt with your person. If you're still mad at your person, then you need to heal, okay? You need to heal from this connection so that you can have him or her back in your life. That's what I'm sensing. I'm sensing like more likely masculines, you're the one who, who should flirt to your woman, okay? If you're dealing with a feminine, okay? Getting to know each other. I'm sensing like they don't have any choices. It's only you. That's what I'm sensing here. And playfulness. So... The angels told me that if you have grudges with your person, it's time to heal. It's time to take back romance in your life. The angels say that is what they want you to do. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Because honestly speaking, they really want to be happy again. Okay, and when you have a union again they want to do this okay they want to be playful with you they want to date you that's what i'm sensing and they want to cry out all the tears that they have with their karmic right now honestly so let's see about what else will they want to give you pal number one so you have listened to your intuition and also improving health so this is um your person's energy like they are um healing from whatever had happened in their career of their love life or addictions they're healing it and the angels say that you may pray to god to ask for a sign where what they call this, if union will happen, or if you're the masculine, as for a sign, if it's a perfect timing for you to approach, alright? Because you're still healing, as the green represents the healing of the heart chakra, it represents heart chakra and Archangel um, Raphael. He's in charge of the healing. So what you can do is pray for them, for the healing of their heart, and get to provide for them strength and energy to proceed with this life. 
because some of them are really feeling down and lonely, contemplating about whatever decision that they made in the past. Like they think that they are wrong. So you have these cards as well. Ace of Ariel, it's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support, a change in job or promotion. I more likely um, sense this as your person, okay? You don't have to worry if they change their career. They are achieving their goals, their dream, dream job, and they gonna have a promotion someday. That's what I'm sensing. And they're gonna be happy with their new job. That's what I'm sensing. So the next is Page of Raphael. Gentle, loving, dreamy, open-hearted. A new emotional situation. Messages regarding relationships or social invitations. Great intuitive insights. So I'm sensing this as your energy. You should be loving and gentle to your person and be open-hearted to them once that they come in, the angels say, because um, this is a new emotional situation. Okay, and in order for them to come in, you must clear your heart chakra. You must open it. You don't need to take that grudge or you need to trust the situation that your person will come forward. Even if it takes a long time, guys, okay? You should um, accept your person, especially if you feel that deep connection with them. So, the next card is Five of Gabriel. A challenge you can resolve if it withdraw from the drama of others have patience with yourself and those around you so if you're still angry with your person or if if there are still in drama um a better step out okay for the divine masculines if you're planning to approach your person and you see postings or signs that they are still in that drama state Please um, be advised to withdraw, okay, from the situation so that you won't get involved with the fights or whatsoever drama that's happening with your feminine. Because I'm more sensing this for the energy of the feminine, okay, if they're still in drama mode, don't approach the masculines. So the next is the star, Archangel Jophiel. A dream come true, believe in yourself, the end of a difficult situation. Yes, okay, as you can see, some of you guys could be dealing with your twin flame or higher level soulmate, guys. And this, um, this tells me that union is about to happen. Just let your person heal first, okay? Heal first your past wounds and hurt and also send forth healing and love to your person because they really need it. Even if there's no communication yet, um, this is a clarification that union is about to happen. If not within this week, it will be next week because right now they're still healing. Okay, just give them time to do that. So the next is, when I lean on faith of the universe, peace becomes real. So I'm sensing like you will be reunited with your person someday. Just let them be at peace, okay? And have faith in this situation. Have faith that your person will come back because some of you guys lose your patience already. If you trust the situation, then it will push through, okay? So the next card is, I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. So if you're still mad at your person, please make sure that take time to rest, okay? Take time to release the pain, release the grudges that you have to this with this person so that um, they may come to you um, and you may accept them back, okay? Because they don't need another drama in their life, the angels say. So, thank you for watching pal number one and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye! Hello guys! For those who chose pal number two, which is the Ace of Swords, here is your reading. So, let's see. What's going on with your person, pal number two? 
So here is the overall theme of this reading. So you got the treasure island. This is both reverse or upright according to the angels. And then go the distance. This is reversed, they say, and then unfinished symphony. Upright or reverse for this one, they tell. So let's have an energy check with regards to your person, pile number two. So, angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you'll be able to know how does the person of pile number two feel about them and how does they see about the connection for those who chose pile number two. How does they see the connection? Make the effort, upright or reverse, they say, another card they request. You have calling in your soulmate, upright or reverse for that, codependency, reverse, the angels say. So I'm following the angels, okay, they are my guides, children, both either upright or reverse. Really depends for the children card, the angels say. If your person has children, you can relate to that. If not, okay, no need. Just take what resonates, guys. Stay optimistic. This is both reverse or upright. One more card, they request you have playfulness, reverse. They tell me one more they requested. You have this could be the one reversed. So let's see. Hmm, I'm sensing like your person is sad. Okay, their energy is not really nice. Don't worry, I'll show to you the cards later. Okay, so I just can't fit everything in a camera. Okay, so let's see. Angels, oh, why did I shuffle like this? Okay, I'm sorry. See, even me, I'm having their energy like as their world is turning apart. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you'll be able to know what's going on with the person of pile number two commencing April 8th up to April 14, 2019. The angels say relax. Time to relax and enjoy your life while waiting for your person to come forward. Because right now is not the perfect time. Honestly speaking on their part, they're kind of upset of something because I'm sensing like they're angry because my left hand hurts. If my left hand hurts, then it means that on their part, they're mad. They're angry. Okay, so let's see. So you have the two worlds, either upright or reverse, they say. What else? So you got waterfall. This is reverse according to them, the king of forces. Upright or reverse for that, they say. The commitment card. This is reversed or upright. Okay, reverse or upright for the commitment card. And overall, energy is the community reverse. Outcome, please. You have the willow, upright position, they say. And also, clearing the way. This is reverse, they say. And then the accent, upright or reverse. One more card, they request for an outcome. You have reflection. And then balance is a reverse or upright for the balance card. They say karmic trench reverse, they tell. So is there anything else? They said no. So let's clarify the cards presented here. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we'll be able to know What's behind the cards presented here? Please help us clarify so we'll be able to understand. Thank you. So let's see. Another shuffle they request. 
Did you guys had a fight? Because I'm sensing some of you guys had a fight. Some only, okay? Because on your part, some viewers here are angry with your person. I'm sensing it. So, the waterfall in reverse. The king of forces. You got these cards. One of roses. Mm, eight of roses reversed. Two of forces. Four of keys reverse. Seven of keys. Reflection. Balance. And even they are angry. Four of scrolls. Okay. So, the overall energy that's affecting the whole reading is the community in reverse. I'm sensing like this person is mad, okay? I'm sensing he's angry at you. That's what I'm sensing with this card. And they want to be happy again by letting you go. That's what I'm sensing. If they are with their karmic, it's nothing to do with you. They're angry with their karmic. Could be, but if you guys had a fight, they're mad at you and they want to be happy. They want to forget um, these things that they had with you. So, that's affecting the whole reading. First card will be two worlds, either upright or reverse. So, I'm sensing like if you guys are in a relationship or if they are with their karmic, that's what I'm sensing. Um, because I'm sensing a lot of people watching here and there's um, two groups here. The one um, whom is in a relationship with this person and who got um, upset of each other. And the other one is a third party situation wherein you're waiting for your person to come to you. Okay, so the two worlds, either upright or reverse, remember? If you are in a relationship with this person or you guys had a fight, they are moving things forward. They let you go already. They remove their ties with you because they want to be balanced again with their life. And they, I'm sensing like they judge this connection that they had with you. Now, if you're not in a relationship with this person, with their karmic, they let that karmic go already, okay? Because according to their judgment, their karmic is what they call this. Their mad with their karmic. These are friends, family members even. Just like what resonates, guys, okay? But they're letting somebody go in their life. That's what I'm sensing here. They're cutting the ties, the angels say, because of the dramas, because of the conflict, okay? This is the drama here. Why? It's because of this. Like they see the connection like um, it's unstable. It's not successful. And I'm sensing like some of them even has money problems. Like it's not working because they're losing a lot of money. They've been giving a lot or could be um, they're letting go of a job or a career, anything that is toxic. But I'm sensing more on, um, not career-based, but more on relationship-based is in this reading. That's what I'm sensing, honestly speaking. For career, the angels say only... 1%, okay, only 1% is letting go of a career. So, if it's not about career, if it's about you, if you guys are in a relationship and things didn't go well, well, this person is cutting you off because of the dramas, okay? This person wants happiness in their life. That is why um, they realize that they need to let go of the relationship that they currently have so that they can have this okay right now they are in a healing process some of them are asking advice from their friends or family members some of them took it alone okay really depends on your person but then i'm sensing like yeah 
commitment. If they are in a relationship with you or they are with their karmic, um, if before they're committed, now they're not, okay? They realize um, the negative things of their relationship. Even if they're karmic or you will come forward, they're not gonna look at it. They're gonna look at the negativity of the connection and moving forward towards another direction or another lover. That's what I'm sensing that they're gonna do. So you have a lot of outcomes since I told you there's a lot of groups here. The one who's dealing with this person or the other one who's waiting for them to cut off with their karmic. So you have three, four, five, six. Six outcomes. First outcome is a willow. Just take what resonates, guys. Okay, this is a collective read general. And anyways, um yeah, this is about more on about the past. They're now moving forward to a new direction in their life. Right now, like um they're finally free that's how they feel like the free bird here because some of them was hurt okay was hurt so badly by their karmic or either you could be if it's not cheating it could be the fights okay that was involved here now let's see why i'm sensing like you guys are aware about it because um they're not gonna secretly what they call this they're gonna not gonna hide it in social media that's what i'm sensing with the moon card in reverse like they will tell the so social media that they already released their karmic okay that's what's going on and then with the queen of wands i'm sensing like look at this a male and a female here okay both release the sticks okay in their connection because it's a burden to take that and the angels say if they are with their karmic or with you they release you already because they think that it's a burden to carry and this person is looking forward to another relationship probably um this person will cheat because um this person is not satisfied with uh, this person okay they will cheat so that they will be at peace okay in harmony because i'm sensing like it's not a secret anymore people knows in their circle that there's always fights argument in the connection that they have okay and then the next is clearing the way in reverse so, what I have here is that if it's a committed relationship or a marriage thing, they're gonna let it go. But, honestly speaking, it's gonna be harder for them. Especially if they don't have money yet to do this. For marriage, for married couples, I'm sensing like um, they're planning divorce. They're just saving money because right now they don't have money for this. So, Seven of Keys. I'm sensing like before they see this connection as something divine, something that is meant for them. But now, since there's a lot of arguments, it's very imbalanced. They let it go already. Okay. So, whoever is their karmic is, they're gonna let go so if you're dealing with this person guys if this is your connection then he's he or she's letting it go already because of the reflection um this person finally realized that there's no point in staying if there's always fighting that's what this person thinks and this person had enough fighting for the relationship and this person move on and some of you guys don't know about it because of the moon card here okay and you and you might ask me then why you have the moon card here again that's reverse like people know just like what resonates guys if people know that there's complication in the connection then take it okay if people know but if people don't know about it then take this card 
Because I'm more sensing like you're not aware about it. It's on your part that you're not aware that this person is moving forward away from the connection of their karmic or either with you. If you're in a connection with this person and you guys had a fight, could be. So balance, either reverse or upright. I'm sensing here that um, there's very... There's an imbalance in this connection that they have with their karmic. Like, I'm sensing like their finances is falling apart. They're always fighting about the finances, their career. And the chemistry is not there. Okay, before they thought that there's chemistry, there's love in the air. But now they realize, no. We can't get along. We always fight and we always um, stab each other's heart. Okay, and now they're awakened, awakened about the truth because um, Page of Swords in this tarot card, the guy here is um, has his eyes closed. So it means that if before um, he or she is fighting for the relationship, like didn't see about this and now they acknowledge how much they are hurting in the connection that's why they're letting this connection go because of the imbalance in the situation so we have the next card the next outcome yeah they're letting go of their karmic okay they're not putting any effort anymore with their karmic they're releasing everything um, they're trying their best to heal and to forget about the karmic connection. So if you're in a relationship with this person, this person is letting you go already to start a new beginning with someone. But if they are still in the healing process, they will not still find or look for someone else. They're just releasing the pain, the past before they move on to another relationship. So, okay, now let's see what does this person see about your connection together, okay? So, if you're in a relationship with this person, this person knows already that you're not the one for them and the playfulness is not there anymore because there's always fighting. And the angels told me that if you're dealing with somebody whom you're waiting for them to come forward because of the karmic connection they are staying optimistic that after this turmoil with their karmic they will come to you once that they are ready okay they are staying optimistic that you're still waiting for them to return but if this is your partner and you guys always had a fight this person is not looking forward anymore um this person only view the negativity of your connection as we have here with the four of cups not accepting anymore any positivity about the connection if children is involved the angels say could be um, they're having a hard time to let go. It has a connection with this one. Like, um, if their finances, okay? You know, if you have kids, finances is always an issue here. So, it's very hard for them to let go. But if there's no children involved, then it will be easier for them to have a divorce if they're married. Or, I'm sensing like... A pregnant woman so they're still not gonna accept it the angels say because they they don't really like the connection with their karmic that's what i'm sensing like even the children i'm sensing some of them don't really want their kids like they're very upset like they don't want it it has a connection with the karmic trench like they want to release anything that has a connection with their karmic I know it sounds harsh, but it's only for some of them, okay? So, just take what resonates. Codependency. So, they're releasing their dependency on their partner or their karmic that they had. And if they release it, that's the time that they can call in their soulmate or you whom is waiting for this person. 
but if they are not yet ready no they they won't um call anyone they will heal from it and make the effort if you if you guys are waiting for this person to come the angels say this person will come make an effort to you and will tell you that they already released their karmic and they will come towards you but if you guys are in a relationship with this person and you guys always had a fight this person will not make an any effort at all to be in a relationship again with you just take what resonates okay so let's see about the overall theme of this reading so you have unfinished symphony here so it tells me that if you guys are in a relationship or in a relationship with the karmic they're gonna end this okay they're gonna end this situation they want to move away from their karmic partner and then release anything as you can see karmic trench reverse okay they they want to release the memories with their karmic and start a new beginning with someone else that's what i'm sensing that's why ace of swords is here they come to realization they accept the truth the fact that with their karmic things are not doing well okay going well with them so they're letting it go so let's see what are their messages for you pile number two so the first card is all of my hopes fading away i'm not made for you and tell me you'll wait tell me you'll wait is for those people who waited for this person to come towards you after dealing with their karmic okay just take what resonates which groups are you the angels told me to clarify everything okay they only give three cards for the messages angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that you'll be able to know what's behind the messages of the person of pile number two for them thank you so all of my hopes fading away you got the seven of diamonds and six of spades i'm not made for you tell me you wait one more for this day request they give a lot of cards okay so let's see all of my hopes fading away so these are for those people whom what they call this if this is your person if this is your you're in a relationship with them they already there's no hope that's what they see okay they there's no hope for making things forward with you that's what they want to tell they want to follow what is destined for them they want to be free that's what they want to tell you so that they may find the one that is really made for them because seven of diamonds is the star card in this tarot deck and the star card for me is a destined relationship and they really want um to find someone else new that is really destined for them that is what they're wanting and i'm not made for you so this is only if you are in a relationship with this person and you had a fight okay and they want to release the burdens that you guys had and again this is the moon card like they're suffering already and they feel like they're even left out in the connection and i'm sensing like you guys are always had a fight okay and always protecting your heart and there's a lot of things that's going on in your relationship like there's conflicts and pain and then they realize that yeah i'm not made for you because there's a lot of conflicts there's a lot of pain there's a lot of arguments that's what they see but if you're a person who's waiting for them to release their karmic they want to tell you to wait okay why you wait because they're in the process of healing okay but they see your connection as stable 
and they see you as an opportunity. And the emperor's here, like this person is guarded from the karmic. Okay, they don't want a karmic anymore. They want to end their life. They want stability, and they want you to accept them back. They want you to heal from whatever they did to you in the past, so that you guys will be reunited again as someone. That that's what they want for you to heal as well for whatever had happened between you guys so let's see what are the advice that the angels has for you pile number two so angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that you'll be able to know what are your advice for those who chose pile number two yeah, their person is mad, honestly, with their karmic. I'm sensing the energy again. My my left hand hurts. So you have to give your relationship a chance. Now, if you're waiting for this person to come forward um, after leaving a karmic, this is your card, okay? They want you to give your relationship a chance because they're coming forward to be with you. So you need to heal, okay? And religious factors are affecting your love life. If you guys are married with this person, the angels say, um, they want you to know that even if you're married and it's not working out, you still need to follow your heart. Okay, if it's really hurting already, you have to let go because it's a toxic relationship and there's somebody else out there that is meant for you. The angels say, that it has nothing to do with the papers okay and it has to happen so that you may see your worst you may realize that there's another person out there who will treat you well and this person is not if you're in a connection together okay and i'm sensing like you're being directed to your real person that is really meant for you as well if you just broke up with this person within this week so should I need to pull more? They said no need. So let's see what else, okay? Oops. So you have the situation will improve and also take action. So I'm sensing like if you're dealing with somebody whom you're waiting for, the angels say um, your person will come forward towards you once that they are prepared already okay and take action now this is about you guys if you're in a connection with this person and they want you to realize and take an action about this this situation don't fight anymore with your person you need to come to realization if you guys are meant to be or not Okay, if it's not really gonna work out, then it's time to take action, take back control of your life, release this person so that you may find someone else new that is really made for you. The next card is Seven of Gabriel. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence, claim your personal power. So I just tell it, okay? That's a connection with this. As you can see, they are both riding a horse. So this tells me that um, you need to take back control of your life. It's not yet the end of the world if this person will live your life. Trust the heavens that um, there is somebody out there that is meant for you, okay? And I'm sensing like some of you guys are dependent to this person and you think that you can't, you can't live alone. Don't be like that guys, okay? See yourselves, have that confidence. I know it's not easy. I know it's like the end of the world, but um, living a toxic situation will bring you peace in your life. Honestly speaking, you know, um, at first it's hard. I've been there before because I let go of my nine years connection with my ex-husband. And there's always fighting involved there. I'm a battered wife. You know how I managed to escape? By the help of the angels. Okay, what did they do? So, when their father hurt me physically, 
I go I went to my room and I start crying there and then um angels came and tell me that I need to pack up my things I need to leave the house and I did it okay I packed my things and I le left their house and I was really surprised that all all of the doors are open and even um the gates are open for me and that's how I was able to escape now you need to escape if that's the case scenario like there's always fights you don't get along you have to accept it guys even if it's hard you know someday you will understand why you need to leave that situation you know I know it's very hard especially if your person uh, dominates too much in this connection you know we should not be abused so anyways guys if that is your scenario you have to realize you have to realize yourself if this person really satisfy your life and realize your self-worth and your own abilities that you can do it you can um, manage to escape you can manage to let go of this person you can have that own job um, business even or career and start all over again as a new person because you have to move on there's somebody else out there for you who will treat you well so these are the other cards you have i always trust the direction of the universe and know i'm being guided so trust okay if you don't have the strength you need to pray okay you need to pray for the healing of your heart okay and then um meditate go to the park be grounded guys go to the park go to the nature let your feet feel the ground okay and release all the negativity that you have out there cry it all out and then release the pain by making yourself happy you can find a joy even if you're alone if you can do it alone then go to your friends or family members and try to enjoy life even without this person okay it's time to move on guys if you're dealing with this person for a very long time and trust the heavens that there's somebody else out there and it has to happen for a reason everything happens for a reason guys you know i encountered that kind of um experience because i'm here now counseling you guys if i don't encounter that experience do you think i would understand you I share my story so that you will be inspired so that you will realize that you're not alone because somebody else out there encountered the same troubles like what you have sometimes it has to happen for us to counsel people for us to understand other um, people that has the same um, scenario you know you're meant to help people you're meant to help others who has the same problems if um, your case scenario is that you have been through a lot honestly um, you will use it someday on your divine job so on your divine purpose the angels say now the next is there is a stream of love supporting my dreams so I'm sensing like you have to purge it all first and then once that you're healed you will realize your dreams and goals you will realize your own abilities even that you can do it you can stand up once again after this great turmoil in your life okay so is there anything else for pile number two the angels told me they are just here for you and they love you so much and also me i'm just here i understand your situation i've been there pile number two if you don't have someone to talk to i'm just here okay so is there anything else they said no more so thank you for watching pal number two and sending you all peace love and light bye